special education unit, we've been looking at evaluating um, the processes, the procedures, and everything um, for NARCI, the National Resource Center for Inclusive in Education, or the, the special ed unit countrywide, and looking at how we can streamline processes to provide better services to families and better support to schools. Uh, so, you know, we've been looking at um, putting our forms electronically so parents can fill it out and just automatically submit it. We've been looking at all our test factors and assessments that we can do and the, all the evaluations and the writing we can do. And so as a part of all of this new improvement and, and expansion of the special education unit, we held a week long training with all the special education officers and RC officers countrywide. They all came into Belize City and we had a specialist who actually it, um, is in one of the top positions for the District of Illinois um, in special ed. And she gave us, out of her, the kindness of her heart, flew down to Belize for her spring break and spent it with us evaluating our procedures and then working with our NARCI officers to improve on their report writing and developing of IEPs because we really want to make it standardized throughout the country so that if we're recommending for a student in a school to have an IEP that we'll be able to assist that school and that teacher with the writing, have a form for them and show them how it's done. So almost like a train the trainers uh, for it, but it's been a week long event and it was fabulous. I, I didn't, I got way more out of it than I thought I would. I think my, my job just went a hell of a lot more uh, complicated too, because we were talking about, you know, some of the drawbacks and the obstacles and then recommendations. And then she gave her recommendations. And so we have a long list of things to do to improve on our services, but we have a template to follow, uh, a roadmap, and all the officers are energized and super excited about it. So I know they're going back into their districts um, with a lot of new knowledge, a lot of renewed energy and focus, knowing that, that, this is a priority for the Ministry of Education, Culture, Science, and Technology, um, that they are extremely valuable to the ministry and that we are going to support them and give them all the tools they need so that they can support our families.